I'm Maryam Keshavars. I'm the writer, director, and producer of The Persian Version. My mother is an ultra-successful immigrant businesswoman. Your mortgage is going to be less than your rent. You must be joking. Oh, I never joke about business, Mrs. Khan. She was not one to take no for an answer. Amazing and congratulations. No one ever gave her the memo that Muslim women were supposed to be passive good girls. Did you have any challenges breaking into Hollywood? Yes, I'm an Iranian woman who's queer and Muslim. I think that's all the things that you need to know. Of course, it's, even though I have all the success, I've won Sundance twice. You know, I won two awards with this film. I've been theatrically released on all of my films. It's still like from starting, it's like almost like starting over every single time. It's very challenging for women, I think, and, um, and BIPOC people. But we have to keep pushing the boundaries. You have to know why you're doing what you're doing. Um, and even to have a film in like how much 500 plus cinemas in a day and age where everything is Marvel and, you know, big blockbusters is really a, you know, a miracle in many ways. And a film in two languages about immigrants. It's pretty amazing. This is my family in a nutshell. The Disco King, the Troublemaker, JFK Jr. minus the plane crash, the Brainiac, the Goth, the Hippie, the Greaser, and the Metrosexual. And me. Do you really have eight brothers? No, it's fiction. I have okay. seven brothers. Okay. I have seven I know brothers. It's based on I added one brother. Okay. I added one brother for the film. <laughs> you have seven brothers. Oh my goodness. Okay. Seven brothers in one bathroom. So that's its own type of trauma. I have your test results. You are pregnant. I didn't even get knocked up from a one night stand. Are you a mom? I am a mom. I, my daughter's 12 now. 12 going on 30. And was she <laughs> conceived the way uh, Layla's baby was conceived in the movie. We're looking for Layla Jamshid Poor. She's in labor. Do you know which room she's in? Is anyone of you the father? I'm the father. I met my partner, uh, her dad. I met, we're not together anymore, but I didn't meet her dad uh -huh. at a Halloween party. I was wearing a burkatini. All that stuff is true. We were not really together very long. I'm gay adjacent. No, gay adjacent. I, mean, I was with women before. I was married to a woman for like a decade. And then I did get pregnant by mistake. I mean, it was unplanned, so. Wow. So the I'm reason a really I, bad heterosexual. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I call that a taboo is not taboo in American culture, but, you know, in Iranian culture. In some parts of Iran, American culture it is. Yeah, and in some parts of Iran it is, it is taboo. What was that like for you navigating? Um, you know, my first film dealt with two girls in love in Iran. I think that's just kind of the re I'm interested in that, those people that live um, unnoticed, uh, like in the margins of society, but are very much part of the vibrancy of a culture, but they're kind of a race sometimes in our um, understanding of a, of a culture, be that in America or be that in Iran. Um, so I had already kind of dealt with it in an earlier film, but this is more based on my life. So, you know, I knew it could potentially be more mainstream if, if the character wasn't gay, but I was like, you know, it's time to bring this into the mainstream because it is considered a mainstream film. Absolutely. Were you afraid of any backlash from Iran? Oh, I'm used to that. I've made multiple films about Iran and um, I don't think I would make a film that doesn't have backlash. Wow. <laughs> I, so like to, um, I like to, I like to um, provoke. We really good for you. I'm afraid of that. Have you gotten? Isn't that our job as artists? Absolutely. To absolutely. Have you ever gotten any type of hate mail or threats or anything from? Um, I've gotten equal amount of hate mail as I have love mail. Wow. And so. you are so strong to deal with that. How do you not let it hurt your feelings or or freak you out? <laughs> Art your. I mean, we're artists. I mean, we're if we want to be, if we want to just appease everyone, we're in the wrong business. Uh, what's she saying? Your grandma in the film was absolutely hilarious. I watched the film yesterday in the movie theater. The time that I I was laughing so loud out loud. Um, I heard that a lot for people. <laughs> in the theater, the part that was the funniest for me is when um, she introduced her baby's dad <laughs> to the whole family. And um, the things the grandma was saying was so funny. I mean... Talk to me a little bit about that. That's based on a real scene of how I did tell my family about being pregnant, but it's really to show like the different um, characters in the family and each of them are very, you know, different, but also all the, um, how they love their sister and how they love her, but there's all a lot of assumptions around her life. Um, 
and also she, how uncomfortable she feels with bringing on a new identity into the family. Because um, like my family, they never know what I'm going to say. So of course, you know, it's like, wait, you're pregnant by a gay guy? And she's, he's not gay. And this whole thing of like, they thought they had her figured out, but she won't be, she won't be put in a box. So there were some things in the film that were, could have been considered you know, darker subject matter, you know, getting bullied as a child for being from that part of the world. And you what better way to deal with, you know, traumatic events than to be able to laugh at it. Absolutely. That's what I was going to ask you. Has yeah. this been a healing process for you, both with your childhood and with your relationship with your mother? Definitely the childhood, I think, has been, I've kind of sought in humorous ways even when I was a kid, because you see the absurdity of how extreme people are, and you're kind of just caught in the middle. I've always been one who sees the humor in it. Um, I think otherwise I might have been crushed by it all. Um, yeah. And I definitely see it more and more as I get older. And then with my mother, of course, I think, you know, the whole film is a way of healing. And I really loved the scenes that were shot when your mother was you know, young in Iran. Mm -hmm. Where mm -hmm. in the world did you shoot that? It looked just like Shiraz. I know, it's crazy. Every, I had so many Shirazes in New York. I'm like, how did you, because Shiraz <laughs> has been so modernized. So how did that get 1960s Shiraz? Yeah. I shot that in Turkey. Wow. Yeah, in oh, a, a oh, historic and a UNESCO uh, preserved city. So it's actually, the old city has never been destroyed. Wow, amazing. Yeah, a lot of research. So. This film is, is here in Colorado, where I am. What can I tell my audience here in Colorado? How long do they have to go to theaters and um, see it? They have this week to see it. I would get out this week. This weekend is the big, probably last weekend, you're going to be able to see it in the theaters. And it's a really fun film. And uh, it has you get go on a roller coaster with this crazy family. So wherever you're from, we all have issues with our family. And we all have to find a way to laugh at ourselves and be part of something that we don't always feel like we 100% fit in. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, thank you. Thanks so much, okay, bye. bye.